ahead on Live at 5. Federal investigators are on the scene looking for clues in the tragic crash of a television news chopper. Turning to another big story, we've been covering a very difficult today, day today for our colleagues over at Fox 26 and all of us here in the media as NTSB investigators try to figure out what caused a TV news helicopter to crash. That Fox News helicopter went down last night just before 10 o'clock. The chopper sliced through power lines and slammed into a small building. The pilot, Donald Sumner, died in the crash. Eyewitness News reporter Heidi Jones joins us live from the scene as investigators work to figure out just what went wrong. Heidi? Melanie, the helicopter had just dropped off a photographer at Hobby Airport and was headed home to Hooks Airport. When halfway there, it crashed here near River Oaks. The National Transportation Safety Board has been on the scene all morning and all afternoon, and they say one element they're focusing on is last evening's weather. Broken pieces of metal and mangled power lines are all that remain of the Fox helicopter. Pieces the National Transportation Safety Board is combing through for answers. The, the aircraft uh, uh, was heading from south and north and it uh, disappeared up into the clouds. And the next thing you heard, it sounded like the aircraft was turning around. According to officials, once the helicopter descended from the clouds, it clipped two power lines before descending to the ground, but it didn't catch fire until a transformer fell on top of it. The helicopter was just engulfed in flames and it caught this house on fire. The chopper, an A-star helicopter, did have its engine replaced six to eight months ago following an engine failure. Its last maintenance check was at the end of October. We are uh, looking into weather. We're also gathering up all maintenance records of the aircraft, all uh, pilot uh, records, uh, training records for the pilot. The pilot, Don Sumner, worked for helicopter services for eight months and, according to FAA reports, had 5,000 flight hours and was instrument rated, meaning trained to fly in inclement weather, leaving investigators unsure as to the cause. Questions that are also on the mind of morning meteorologist Matt Levine, who saluted Sky Fox from his weather patio each morning. He came to pay his respect. I don't cry very often, but this morning I just walked in the bathroom and I did not know if I could get through this morning. I'm just, I'm hurting this morning. And manufacturers of the helicopter were also on the scene today with the National Transportation Safety Board. It's not apparent that there were any inherent problems with this model, but they were investigating as well. It's not expected that this investigation will close for another six months. We'll have more live at 6 o'clock. For now, we're live near River Oaks. Heidi Jones, 13 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Heidi. Sad loss indeed. Now, those who worked with the Fox helicopter pilot Don Sumner, of course, grieving tonight. Fox News crews showed their respects by putting a black band on their microphones. Meanwhile, at the Fox 26 station in southwest Houston, viewers have made a makeshift memorial there. Flags there flying at half staff. The station manager says the loss has been tough for employees. They're not doing well, obviously. Um, you know, this, this pilot has a family. Uh, he has a wife. Uh, and a young child um, and you know as of right now we are grieving uh, as I said we are in the process of arranging for grief counselors to come on site. Fox News employees are also setting up a memorial fund in pilot Don Sumner's honor to help his family with burial expenses. History. And then, of course, they'll also look at the company that owned and operated that helicopter and leased it to Fox News 26. All of this, Greg, is expected to take about six months. Dan, I heard some suggestion today that the pilot may have also been looking for another place to land until he just uh, ran out of luck and perhaps even hit those power lines. Well, that suggestion has been made. Nobody really knows. But right directly across this other street is a big parking lot behind, behind the church here, Bethany Christian Church. But the question is whether or not he could even see it. There's only one light. On that, on that parking lot, so it's not known if he saw it and was trying to get there or not. All right. Unfortunate. Dan Locke, thanks. The community is showing its support for the pilot killed in the crash. A makeshift memorial has sprung up outside Fox 26 Studios on the Southwest Freeway. Flags are also flying there at half staff at the station. A memorial fund has been set up for the family of Don Sumner. Donations can be sent to Wells Fargo Bank of Texas, 5625 FM 1960. That's here in Houston at 77069. Management at Fox 26 also expresses gratitude for the outpouring of support from the community. Dozens of parents are turning to police for help. They met at Franklin Elementary School to learn what they can do to protect their children.
ABC 13, Houston's News Leader. Live with Art Rascone, Melanie Lawson, Marvin Sindler, and Ed Brandon. This is 13 Eyewitness News Live at 5, Houston's 